Welcome to my fourth year final project on the impacts of forestry and water quality on the Owen Riff County Galway. This is the introduction. The study is based on a useful stage three forest. The forest is mainly coniferous and present in the mid section of the river, allowing upper, mid and downstream sections to compare against one another. The site is the Owen Riff catchment located west of Uthra Ord village. The Owen Riff generally has a good high water quality status by the Environmental Protection Agency. It is home to Annex 2 species of freshwater pearl mussel, which is a pollution sensitive species. Different land uses have an impact on nearby water catchments, for example, forestry. Forestry has many different stages that pose the potential to impact water quality, such as planting of the forest and fertilisation building of roads, construction, and then harvesting, thinning and felling, which have acidification impacts on water quality. A lot of focus has been put on forestry since the 1970s in Ireland. Europe's zero net carbon in target Ireland has been expected to fall levels by 2030 to 2050, and by doing this, they attempt to reach 80% lab and cover of forests by 2046. Different show, studies show negative impacts and also positive impacts. O'Halloran's study of impact is significant through hydrochemical changes such as acidification. Um, Serene says that the impact of forest is increasing from shadowing to least proliferation of nitrogen fixing weed. Peat is another factor to cause low pH due to intensive drainage of shallow peat soil to walk into water systems. Positive impacts of water quality are rarer than negative impacts. Aquatic species such as pollution sensitive of macroinvertebrates can tolerate changes in water and are used as good bioindicators of any change in water quality. Macros can explain the relationship between the environment of the ecosystem. Diversity in species richness of macroinvertebrates are affected by direct exposure to pesticides and other harmful chemicals. Chemical indicators determine the water quality present in sampling and measure more than frequently than bioindicators. Acidification is the main cause of change, chemical change from forestry and is usually a result of deforestation or thinning. Siltation is another parameter that can be measured and indicates if forestry and natural disturbances such as cultivation, clear felling, road building, harvesting and rainfall. Siltation affects the water quality such as life of organisms and macroinvertebrates and fish. This map illustrates the upper stream, midstream, downstream, west to Uthra Ord village. Standard methodology that was, that was used over the EPA for many years was used in this project. The first thing that was done when arriving at the scene was site after site selection was biosecurity. All equipment was washed down and gear kick samples every time we entered and left the water to ensure that we had no impact on the water quality. Macroinvertebrates were then sampled and three buckets were collected at each site to ensure replication of the site and to get an overall indication of the water quality status once we had the data and analyzed. The macroinvertebrates were then sorted into the families and analysed using biodiversity indices and biotic indices such as SSRS score which is small streams at risk score. It was then used Heinex index and Shannon Weiner index and then we used Simpsons index to compare against the Shannon Weiner index. Water chemistry hydrochemical parameters were taken on site and they are a good indication of the water quality at present while on site. And one factor in all that is the test of choice that was used for the data analysis is carried out to establish if there was a significant difference in the mean abundance of species found within the different sections of the river samples so we could see if there was a difference and compare them. So the results section is okay, this is species abundance versus river and you can see a high abundance midsection in the river and mostly this is tolerant species such as gamma ray day and spare day which can tell our high levels of pollution. On the upper stream you can see there's high levels of gamma ray day which actually can indicate good water quality and they are, are less tolerant and more sensitive to pollution. Let's have a look at the results there, this is the biotic indices and the biodiversity indices. Most indices are all comparable against one another and show no real significant impacts on the water quality. Table 3 shows the hydrochemical analysis results. The temperature is normal for the time of year. pH shows no significant difference whatsoever. And the BOD levels do show some rise and indicate that there is pollution coming from somewhere, but the pollution is small and insignificant. As you can see, the versus fit plot and the residual plots show normal data and um, there's no significant difference in the mean abundance of river section analyzing the one way and over. Water quality impacted by forestry is the key factor in the study. The forest is midstream any chance of recovery of impacts from forests were detected downstream. A total of 21 macroinvertebrate species were identified, 30 found upstream, 8 midstream and 13 downstream. 
The total abundance of species upstream was 72. Um, more species found in upstream were actually sent to pollution. Species richness was high among all sites sampled and high diversity was calculated across all sites. All sites maintain relatively similar values in biological indices. In the biological biodiversity indices, nothing stood out to indicate significant impact on water quality and forestry. Biodiversity indices are result to compare across all river sections. The strong, small streams at risk score showed no indication of organic pollution upstream. However, midstream and downstream showed that they could be at risk of being impacted by organic pollution. The life score showed that we had a fast flowing river and was well oxygenated and the temperature was normal for the time of year sampled, which was in February. The pH was insignificant, showing no impact from mass education whatsoever. The one way ANOVA showed no significant difference in the mean abundance and river section. The key findings in the study were that there was no significant impact was found from forestry on water quality on site samples. Macroinvertebrates continue to be reliable and dependable by indicators of water quality. There could be a fast stage for recovery downstream if there is an impact from forestry and water quality. The good water quality status of the own reef is highlighted by the study. Hydrochemical parameters found no significant impact on water quality due to forestry. Mild levels of pollution were detected in the biological oxygen demand sampling, but nothing unusually significant. Further investigation suggested to see if forestry has an impact on water quality. Thank you very much for, the, for listening to this presentation. I really hope you enjoyed it.